Hello, this is Pat Walker at MissionWinners.com. I'm making a video. Uh, Frank had inquired about this, and others have too, on instant software. I have to share this with you. I absolutely love this program. I've used it for 20 years, but I must also tell you this, and this is important. I get no kickbacks from them. I get no discounts. I get no rebates. I get no. I get nothing from them. Okay, it's not like oh well, Pat's got something going on here. Honestly, I don't. If I did, I would tell you, and I mean that sincerely. I'm not immoral. I'm just laying it out for you. Same thing's true with MarketSmith. I don't get any discounts from them. I get no rebates, kickbacks, nothing from them. Nothing. And if I did, I would tell you. That's the truth. So we're looking at instant software. Why do I like it? Because for me, it's pretty simple to use. All right? It's... It's simple. I mean, eSignal is a great program. They're all good programs, okay? But I'm just used to this one. I like the ability to, to maneuver around. Over here's a chart, and over here's my list of stocks. Down here are my different list of stocks that I have. Like right here, if I click this tab, there's the max list. If I click this tab, there's the ETFs, stocks that have gotten a good write-up. I have my screens color coded. Red means the stock is down on the day. Green means it's up on the day. In a quick glance, I can see strength or weakness. Here, I'll give you an example. Here's the ETFs. I can instantly look there and say, well, semis are weak today. See that? That's, that's just little things I do. Okay, it helps. Biotech is strong. Gold is decent. Gold miners are decent. I found this way works really good. Here's the max list. Some up, some down. I'll show you one of the things that I really love, and you can do it with your program too. Here's the list of ETFs. What I do is I go up here, you see where it says quotes, quote, sort, a percent. <clears throat> and it sorts them instantly. Biotech strong, small cap strong, software strong, technology strong, software, gold miners, solar. And then I go down here and it's like, well, there's oil, there's semiconductors, there's retail, there's energy. Oh, you see the theme there? Oil, energy, weak. What does it tell me? I ain't going to be looking at any of those today. Look at this. Semiconductors, semiconductors, semiconductors. What does that tell me for the day? I'm not going to look at semiconductors. I systematize things. So now let's take it a step further. Let's go back to this page. And all you do is you double click on the first ticker right there. And it comes up with the chart. If I want to go to the next chart, I just push the end key on my keyboard, excuse me, and I go to the next chart, the next chart, the next chart. These are various moving averages that I have. You can put on any moving average that you want, any type of moving average that you want, and you can color code it. I just have mine color coded this way. The purple's 200 day, green is 50, Blue is 20, 8 is right here, exponential. This yellow is the 8 period exponential moving average. That's just the way I have it. You can drag, you can put your cursor out here, hold it down and drag to the left, drag to the right. Simple. You can hit the end key on your keyboard and scroll to the next chart, and the next chart, and the next chart. You want to go up, hit the home key, and it goes up. By the way, you can look over here, you can see it going down. There's Apple. There's Advanced Micro Devices, Avgo, Disney, Facebook, Google. You get the point. Let's suppose I want to add a ticker to this page. Just find a spot, any spot. Put it here. You click Add Symbol. And let's put, uh, let's put Netflix in there, okay? Well, it's already in there. Let's find another one. Um, and that's something you can't think of a name of a ticker symbol right now. Here, we'll just put NVIDIA in there. And I press enter. And there it is. Right there. Double click on it. And there's the chart. This is a daily chart. If I want a weekly chart, I push W on my keyboard. There's the weekly. If I want an hourly, I push zero on my keyboard. By the way, that's the way I have mine set up. On yours, you might have zero as a 10-minute chart or a 9-minute chart, whatever you want. You hit D, and you go back to daily. And that's all.
and it works out really well. I have found this is very simple for me. I've used it, like I said, for 20 plus years. Now I'll share something with you. Let's suppose you want to put a price alert in. Let's just do NVIDIA. You can say, well, boy, if it takes out today's highs, I might be interested in buying it. You just put your line or your cursor near there. You see right there? See the line? And just hit Control A. You see the little green hash mark? That means that if the price goes up and touches that price, I'm going to get a limit alert, a price alert go off. Let's suppose I want to watch it to the downside. Just pick a spot. And you put right there. See the red hash mark? Price comes down here. It goes off there. So it's simple. It's nothing really elaborate or really involved. If I wanted to delete them, I just hit Control R and they're gone. That's how you can monitor your positions. Right here, these are our positions. Here's the max list. Click on this, double click on it, and here's the chart. Scroll up to the next one, the next one, the next one. Also, I will tell you this, you can change the colors if you want on the background. Right here, I double click on the chart and you see where it says background? If I click the black box, and let's suppose I want a black, uh, a green background. I click that, and I click this, and it does this. And that's about enough to make me sick. If I want to change it back, I double click on the background, I click black, and I click OK, and it's done. Anyway, some of this may not be relevant to you, but I just wanted to give a little expose video of how I use Ensign. And again, go back to this page. And you should recognize these stocks because, you know, we own them. I'm in these right here. Here's some of the max list. Not in those. Here's NVIDIA. I just stuck that in there. And these are stocks that are key list stocks. You should recognize from last night's key list. You can say, well, why not have it up here too if you own it? No, once I buy it, I'm not going to, I don't need to look at the same chart twice on the same page. So that's the way I run it that way. Anyway, I hope this helps you um, just get an understanding. I love the program, but are there other good programs? Of course there are, but I found this one works good for me. So I'm sure you all have great ones and it works for you. That's the important thing. The idea I like though is I like keystrokes. I like the ability to hit and, and not use my mouse and my fingers a lot. So I have hot buttons. I'll give you an example. Right here, this is a daily chart. If I hit zero on my keyboard, there's an hourly chart. If I hit 10 on my keyboard, there's a 10 minute chart. If I hit five on my keyboard, there's a five minute chart. You ready for this? Four, isn't that fancy? Look at that, take it down to a one minute chart. You can even pull up a tick chart if you want to, but I'm not gonna do that because it'd drive you crazy. Eight, 30 minute chart. Again, zero is the hourly, D, Daily, W, Weekly. And that works. Anyway, I hope this helps you um, understand a little bit of how to use... Oh, one, one more thing. Right up here, you see these different icons? You want to put a note on it? N for note. And we'll put a note, and I'll say... This is for you. And then you click OK. And there's the note. A little bit overlap that one. You want to delete a note, click on it and press delete and it's gone. It's simple. I want to draw a line. I hit the pencil and I draw a line. Pretty fancy, huh? Want to delete it? Click on it, put your cursor on it, delete, gone. Anyway, I just wanted to show you ways to maneuver around on the charts. By the way, I'll show you this. These are my workspaces up here. Here's the max list. There they are, daily charts. You're like, well, how about the max list on hourly? All I do is this, hit zero, and they all switch to hourly. Isn't that cool? I want to look at a 10 minute chart on all of them. Boom, there they are. Back to the daily, D, that's it. I've got daily and hourly here. Daily on the left, hourly on the right. Gives me a great view of what's going on. If I want to, and I hope this isn't confusing you too much, 
if I want to shrink this chart, tighten the bars up, I just hit the, the key to right to the letters P in Patrick. Two spots. And it tightens up the chart. I want to expand it. I just hit the box immediately to the right of the letter P. And it works. I can do the same thing over here. I like to use these two side by side so I can see price and volume. If I want to go to the next chart, I hit the home key and it scrolls up. I want to go to the next chart, I hit the home key. I hit the home key. You're like, what if you want to go down now? Go down. I hit the end key and it goes down to the next ticker symbol. And that's all. I want to go back to my, my original template, which is this one. I just call it normal F2. Click on it and there it is. Back to our charts. These are the stocks that we're involved with. Tesla, PLMR, Microsoft, in mode. This has been good to us. Google, grinding up for us. Facebook, Lifton, Disney's fine. By the way, please don't think, oh, you know, Avgo's backed off a little bit, okay? I don't want you to think like, oh, this is a brag fest. No, this is backed down a little bit here, okay? Advanced micro devices. There's Apple. Just entry right there, and it's trending. I don't have to overthink it. By the way, notice, there's my up alert and there's my down alert. That keeps me alert on what's going on. I don't have to stare at the chart then. I let the computer do work. There's SMH. Notice the down alert, just a little bit below the lows of the day. Done. Done. Raise the up alert to a little bit below the highs of the day. Now this will alert me. If it goes up here, I'll get one type of sound. If it goes below it, I get another sound. Anyway. That's instant software. I love it. I use it. <clears throat> now, if you get it, you got to have a data feed to go with it. I use DTNIQ. I like it. It's good. It's reliable. It's cheap. I found it's, uh, it's far more reasonable than eSignal, and it works great. Anyway, I, uh, and again, I stress, I only did this because some people asked to see what it looks like. That's all I'm doing here. I'm not promoting it. You know, I get nothing from them. I get no discounts, no rebates, no no kickbacks, nothing, nothing free, nothing. So I just always want you to know that um, I pay the same price as you. Same thing's true with MarketSmith, just the same. Anyway, I hope this is I hope this helps you, and I thank you.